I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ease off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's a weird thing to say. How did he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. It took humanity eight years to get a Citadel embassy back home. Pretty impressive to get one here so fast. All it took was handling some remnant. It'll take more to keep this partnership going. Ambassador Riala will handle the embassy. Let's us focus on everything else. Effort's letting me record a few of these training sessions. You call that effort? Just a few. A but the Angara that. have some smart tactics. Now I get how they're held out against the cat. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well. Until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out I was angry, said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. I believe you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Between us, that botanist is kind of a jerk. He didn't fear my anger. I respect that. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your Vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears, there's nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged ion gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. I'll get moving. Ishari. Welcome back. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal, the Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. You're the ambassador. 
You'll think of something. No one said this job would be easy. I appreciate all you've done, Pathfinder. I'll take it from here. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. <laughs>